thank you for joining me once again in another exciting tutorial of chemistry. This is your tutor, the science guru, Mr. Mubiana. Come with me as we look at another interesting topic in chemistry. So today we are looking at a percentage by mass, percentage by mass, percentage by mass. How do you find the percentage of an element in a compound? Take note of this. How do you find the percentage of an element in a compound? I say, example, example, find the, the, find the percentage of one oxygen oxygen in calcium calcium carbonate so calcium carbonate the industrial name for calcium carbonate it is limestone okay limestone then number two we are finding it say uh, find the percentage of uh, oxygen in uh, what 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 can it, what can we get what can we get what can we get just three examples and we'll be done yeah we are saying find the percentage of oxygen okay find the percentage of we say find the percentage of uh, sulfur sulfur in sulfur in sulfuric acid This is an this is an industrial acid. Three examples. Let's begin. Let's break. Let's break this down. Let's break this down. Let's break this down. Yeah. Let's break this down. So now, what do you do? What do you do? You are trying to find the percentage of uh, oxygen in calcium carbonate, the percentage of sulfur in sulfuric acid. First thing is first. You need to bring the formula. What is the formula? You tell us to say. The formula tell us to say the formula for finding percentage of percentage by mass is this. I'll give you two formulas and explain explain cases where you use each one of them. So percentage by mass by mass is equal to AR times the law of atom over total mass total mass times 100 percent are you okay you get it then you also have this formula to say percentage by mass by mass is equal to mass mass over total total mass times 100 percent is this making sense is this making sense is this making sense guys is this making sense yeah i hope this is making sense hope this is making sense yeah so when do you use this case we are going to do two examples when do you use this formula when do you use this formula so the first one you are finding the percentage mass of oxygen in calcium Calcium, calcium carbonate. So calcium carbonate, remember, I said calcium carbonate, the industrial name of calcium carbonate, it is limestone. So the steps you take are this. So I'll remove the first formula. Steps is this. Steps, find, the steps are this. Find, find the MR of the compound. MR represents the relative mass number. Okay. Find the MR of the compound. The MR of the compound. So, what compound have you been given? You have been given calcium carbonate. So, find the MR of calcium carbonate. You said how many calciums are present? One. What is the mass number of calcium on the periodic table? It is what? Just get this. So, on the periodic table, you've got this. You've got calcium 20 and 40. This is called the proton number. 
and this is called the mass number or the air hour. Okay? Same thing, or the relative mass. Or the air hour, atomic mass number. Yeah. So now, we come here. We say, what is the mass number of how many carbons are present? We've got one. Mass number is 12. Then, this, it is 3. What is the mass number? 16. Then you just multiply. This will give you, this will give you, you say, this is 14. This will give you 12. And this, 18, 4, 48. This will give you 48. If you add this up, you're going to get 100. Okay? You're going to get 100 as your MR. Now, now that you have this as your MR 100, use this formula now. I gave you two formulas. Use this formula. So you come, you say, you are finding the percentage by mass of oxygen in calcium carbonate. You tell us to say, percentage by mass, by mass is equal to the relative, the relative atomic number. What is the relative atomic number of oxygen? Of this oxygen, it is 16. Okay, now, no of oxygen. How many oxygens are present in that particular compound? So, you've got three oxygens present. So, you say, by three, you get it? Yeah. Good, you are getting it. Then, what is the total mass of the entire compound? It is 100. You get it? Then, you say, times what? 100 percent. Times 100 percent. Now, if you notice that this 100 can cancel this 100, you are going to get a 48 percent. You get that. Are we okay? Are we together up to that point? Are we together up to that? So, example two. We're trying to find the percentage of sulfur and sulfuric acid. Now, check. You can use the, you can use the first formula or the second formula. You say percentage by mass is equal to by mass is equal to the mass mass over total total mass. Now, this mass that you're considering, it is the mass of the element involved over the mass of the compound times 100%. You get it? Times 100%. Yeah. So now, what will happen is this. Why am I not using the first formula? The first formula, there's a part where I'm saying times the number of, times what? The number of atoms present in that compound. In this case, you only have one sulfur present in that compound. So there's no need of multiplying times one. Doesn't make sense. If, if I, I gave you this, yeah, you can multiply. Then we say, what is the, we find now the total mass. Let us find the total mass. Say four. How many oxygens are present? Two. Hydrogen is two times one. Sulfur, one times 32. You get it? This is four times 16. So this will give you a one. This will give you a 32. And this is, add this up, I say, this is a six, seven. This is seven. And this is, yeah, am I right? It says 16 by 4. 24, 24. 4 remainder 2. This time it is 64. Yeah, I said this is 97. So I come, I say, all right. I said, what is the mass of the element? 32. Over what? 97. Times what? 100%. This simple gives you 32. Times 32, 0, 0, over 97. You get it, guys? Are you with me? You get it? I want to be the 32 point something. 32 point something. That's it. Percent. And you have found the, the percentage mass of an element. Thank you for watching this lesson. This has been your tutor, the science guru, Mr. Mobiana. Thank you.